all his life, he never watched movies, and now he wants to share them with the world. So please put your hands together as I welcome Mr. Hollywood. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste any time with this terrible trash movie. We're gonna get right into this. Hi, my name is Mr. Hollywood, and welcome to Mr. Hollywood's Heated Wins or whatever. So, today, of course, I'm gonna be renting on Incredible Hulk, which came out in June 2008, right after the release of the first Iron Man movie. I gotta tell you, I hate this movie. Not only that, but I don't like the character of Hulk. He's very depressing as Bruce Banner. This movie's completely boring. It does have a few action scenes, but most of it just seemed very boring. And, of course, I gotta tell you, the villain in this movie? <laughs> Complete ripoff of, uh, Overdyer Stain and Iron Man. Everything about this movie sucks. The skull. Don't remember it. It's dumb. It's boring. Um, the acting in here is just so bad. But I will give it this. There's only one positive. That's during the post credit scene where we see Thunderbolt Ross in the bar, right? He's very depressed and all that. And then Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, comes out and tells him that they're forming a team. Later on, will be the Avengers. And I tell you, that is the only scene in the whole movie that I personally liked. But that's about it. Everything else sucks. I can't really talk about this movie that much because what is there to say about this movie that has not been said already by critics and by everybody? This has got to be the worst. Now, it's not... As bad as Tudon 3's Hulk. It's not that bad, but it is bad nonetheless. Now, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you gotta do, people. Go follow me on social media. And with all that said, then, guys, I'm Mr. Hano. Tell all my Hano stars that it's time to send somebody. And screw this movie. This movie gets an F. Ain't nobody